Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing lines. We're going to sketch the graph of each line. So, if I was given this line, 7x plus y equals 5. Well, when I see it in the standard form, the way I like to tackle this is I like to get it into slope-intercept form. I like to rewrite this. So to get, do that, I need to get y by itself. So to do that, I'm subtracting 7x to both sides. And I'm making it y now by itself on the left. y equals. <coughs> then, well, 5 minus 7x is the same thing as negative 7x plus 5. So now I have y equals negative 7x plus 5. I have my slope and my y-intercept easily identified. 5 is my y-intercept, that's right here, that 5. My slope is negative 7, right? So with the slope of negative 7, we're, we're going to go down 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over 1, right there. And that coordinate point will be 1, comma, negative 2, okay? So we connect these two line, the dots, <laughs> connect these two dots to make a line. we go. We have our little line. 3x plus 5y equals a negative 5. <coughs> well, what I like to do is get this into my slope-intercept form, from our standard form. So that means getting y by itself. So I'm going to subtract the 3x to both sides, and that leaves me with a 5y by itself on the left equals, I'm going to put negative 3 x first minus 5. Okay. So we have 5y equals negative 3x minus 5. But then from there, I need to divide by itself still, so I'm going to divide by 5. Now make sure you divide by 5 to both sides on their both parts over here. Don't forget, don't, not just on one, both of them. y is by itself now, <clears throat> so y equals our slope here, uh, our m value in front of x, right? It is negative 3 fifths x. And then 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we have minus there, so we have minus 1. So now we have our slope-intercept form. y is by itself. So our y-intercept is negative 1, that b value right there. We have negative 1 right there. And our slope is negative 3 fifths. So we're going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got a dot right here, and that coordinate point right here is 5, comma, negative 4. Okay, And if we wanted to, we also can go up 3 units to the left 5, right? So if we go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3, and then the left 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here. So, and that quarter point would be 5, comma, positive. So we connect these dots. Let me see if I can have the best at this angle. It should really be using a straight edge. But. And there we have it. We have our line. Y equals 4. Now, this one is kind of tricky in a sense, right? So if Y equals 4, that's going to be a horizontal line, right? And the way I like to sometimes show my students is, is that, okay, Y equals 4 is the same thing as Y equals 0x plus 4, okay, if we need to see it in that form. Now, you're not always going to see it like this, and you wouldn't ever write it like that, because you put 0 times x, right? So, but 4 is where we cross the y-axis, and our slope is 0, so we have a horizontal line right there. So, we have a horizontal line, we write out 4, and there we have our graph. No, so it's horizontal, but a horizontal line there right off of 4, or like this 4, and there's our graph. 6x plus 5y equals 20. Alright. Well, first thing I'd like to do is get this into slope intercept form. So, to do that, I have to get y by itself. So, let's subtract a 6x to both sides, and I'm left with a 5y. I'm going to kind of bring that over. 
equals negative 6x plus 20. Then from there, I have to divide by 5 to both sides of the equation to get y completely by itself. So we divide by 5. And remember, we divide by 5, we do it to both parts here. We have y equals negative 6 divided by 5 is negative 6 fifths x. And then 20 divided by 5 is a 4. So now we have our equation in slope-intercept form. So we have 4 being our y-intercept. Let's put a dot right there. And our slope is negative 6 fifths. So we go down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so that coordinate point right here is um, 5, comma, negative 2. So we can connect these two to make our line. And there we go. Okay. There we have our final answer. X equals negative 3. Well, when we see x equals a number, and that's it, that is a vertical line. So at negative 3, or we cross the x-axis, so x-axis right here is negative 3, the dot right there. Then from there, we just make a vertical line that goes through where x is negative 3. So fairly simple once you know how to do it. We just draw that vertical line. And there we have it. We have our... Okay, 2x plus y equals 4. Okay, well, what I need to do now is to get the y by itself. Okay, this is in standard form, and I like to see it in slope intercept form. So to do that, I've subtracted 2x to both sides. This leaves me y by itself, right? And then a negative 2x, put that first, and negative 2x plus 4. And there we have our slope-intercept form, our equation of the line. So <clears throat> 4 is where we cross the um, y-axis, our y-intercept, so put a dot right there at 4. I have the b-value, and the slope is negative 2. So we go down 2 units over 1, and then down 2 units over 1. Okay, and this point here is just 1, 2. And then this one here is 2, 0. Okay, and we can keep going, but you know, 3 is plenty, so we connect these. And now we have our line. x plus y equals 3. Well, from there, what I need to do is I like to get it from standard form to slope intercept form. So I'm going to subtract an x to both sides to get that y by itself. So we have y equals, well, negative x plus 3 now. Okay? So be careful here, okay, when we're graphing, we have a slope intercept form. Our slope is just a negative 1, the coefficient in front of the x, okay? So 3 is our y-intercept, so we put a uh, positive 3 right here, boom. And then our slope is negative 1. So we just go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, and down 1 over 1, okay? And so some of these points, um, we can see uh, this one, like, for example, is just 1, 2, this is 2, 1, and this last one is 3, 0. So, again, slope is negative 1, down 1, over 1. We connect the dots right there. Okay. Try your best to make it straight, but straight is probably better. And there we have our graph. Okay? 10x minus 3y equals 15. Well, I like to take it from the standard form into slope intercept form. So to do that, I'm going to subtract 10x to both sides to help me get y by itself. We have a negative 3y that's left there, and negative 10x first. Let's go plus 15. Then from there, I want to get, again, y by itself. So let's divide by negative 3. And make sure when you divide by negative 3, you do it to all parts. So negative 10 divided by negative 3 is a positive 10 thirds. We have x here, right? Negative, negative is positive. And then 15 divided by negative 3, that's a negative 5. Okay? So we have y equals 10 thirds x minus 5. Alright? 
So negative 5 is our y-intercept, so we have our y-intercept right here at negative 5. Okay? And then our slope is 10 thirds, so we're going to go up 10 units over 3. Okay? So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gets me to the origin. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gets me here to, oh, to positive 5, right? No the point there, got to move over, don't forget the run. We rose, we didn't run. Okay? So we're here at 5, we have to go over 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay? And there we have our point. Okay? And that coordinate point right there is 3, 5. Okay? So we connect these two dots to make our line here. So hopefully I can... Uh, there we go. That'll make it nice and more or less straight. And there we have our line. Okay? So now we have our line that connects to both these points here. And we have our final answer. x minus y equals positive 3. Okay? So the goal here is to get y by itself, all right? to get in slope-intercept form. I subtract an x here to both sides, very simple. I have a negative y equals negative x plus 3. Okay? And from there, I divide by negative 1 to get rid of that negative in front of the y. I have a positive in front of the y. But be careful that negative 1 needs to go to both parts. So negative x divided by negative 1 is a positive x. And 3 divided by negative 1 is a negative 3. So now we have y equals x minus 3. All right? So negative 3 is our y-intercept. We cross the y-axis right here at that negative 3. And our slope is 1. So we go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, right? And then up 1. Okay, so we have our points here, okay, put some extra points, and this, this final one here is at 3, 0, and I can put this one here as at 1, negative 2, and the other one in the middle. All right, so we have our points here, let's make our line, so we connect these dots, make our line, and there we have our answer, okay, we have our final graph there. This line. Always do that. Y equals zero. Okay? So it's just y equals zero. Now we know this is just going to be a horizontal line, right? So we start at the origin right here. The y intercept is zero, and make a horizontal line. To help better see that, sometimes I'll show this to my students, y equals zero x plus zero. So we have a slope of zero, we have a y intercept of zero, that's where that comes from. Um, it's unnecessary to write that 0x, but if it helps you see it, it helps you see it. So this is just a horizontal line on our origin. So there is our graph right there. x plus y equals a negative 3. So my goal is to get y by itself. So to do that, I'd subtract an x to both sides. So we have negative x, negative x, right? And y equals that negative x minus 3. So now we have it in our slope-intercept form, which is much easier, I think, to see, to graph from. Our y-intercept is negative 3, so we've got 1, 2, 3, negative 3 right there, and our slope is negative 1. So we go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. So at this point, this first one here, so around there, is 1 comma negative 4, and this one here is 2 comma negative 5. Okay? That's the same thing if we go up 1 over 1 as well. So up 1 to the left, over to the, uh, up 1, and then over to the left 1. Right? So up 1 over 1 right here, and up 1 over 1, and do that as well. Okay? Uh, either way, we got to connect these dots right there to make a line. And there we have a graph and our final answer. x plus y equals a negative 1. Well, this is in standard form, and I like to see it in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to try to get y by itself to get that form. I subtract an x to both sides, and that leaves me with y by itself equals, well, a negative x minus 1. Okay? Fairly simple. So let's go graph it now. Negative 1's are y-intercept. We have negative 1 right there, and then our slope 
is negative 1 as well. It goes down 1 over 1 to the right and down 1 over 1 to the right. Okay, so this last point here is 2 comma negative 3. Okay, we also go up 1 to the left 1. Up 1 to the left 1. Okay, and that point right there is negative. Uh, this is not the path of the line, Sean. Negative 2 comma positive 1. Okay, so these are some of the points, and you keep on going for others. There's infinitely many points, but we connect these dots. Minute math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com